Hi, this is Jessica, and I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how I use textures with my images. Um, so the first thing I do is I open the image that I want to apply a texture to. And in this case, um, I've already done my post-processing on the picture. So um, you'll see this is the original picture uh, straight out of the camera. And here it is after my post-processing. So I've bumped up the color a little bit. And um, what you can do next is I'm going to just go ahead and flatten my image. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open the texture file. And I've already opened it in my computer, so it makes me a little easier for me. And then I'm going to select all. And I'm going to copy. And then I can minimize that. And now I'm going to paste it into my image. You see it's covered my whole picture. If the texture file that you're using is smaller than your image file, you can do a transform to uh, make it the right size. And to do that, you just go to Edit, Transform. And I usually just do Free Transform. And that way, if I need to rotate it at all, I can do that as well. So now that I've got the, the texture file over my image, I'm going to go ahead and there's three different uh, layer options that you can use. Um, either overlay, soft light, or hard light. They all have different effects. Um, overlay is the one I use the most. So there's overlay. Soft light is a much softer application of it. And then hard light um, is a little bit more extreme. So overlay tends to give you a nice little average. Um, once you do this, if it looks like the texture is too heavy for you, you can actually just lower the opacity of that layer. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 100% so you can see what I do. And then you can either erase from the layer those parts that you don't want to be textured, or you can apply a layer mask. And I usually lose, use a layer mask because it... Um, it's not destructive of the layer. So if you want to change your mind later, you can always go back and reapply it. If you erase it, once you erase it, it's not going to be there anymore. So to do that, I'm going to come over to my palette for my layers. I'm going to click on the Add Layer Mask button, and you'll see my layer mask has come up. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my paintbrush. I'm going to set the color to black, and that's going to hide whatever I paint on the layer with in black. And usually I set my opacity to something between 18 and uh, 25. Let's go ahead and use 25. And then I'm going to increase my brush size. I can actually have a brush that I can use. And you can also increase your brush size by using the um, brackets that are right above your Enter key. And that's kind of a quicker way to do it. Then I'm just going to go ahead and paint over the picture where I don't want the layer to show up. So usually in the face, I'm going to do that. So we'll zoom in. I'm going to go ahead and do that in the face. I don't want that much. And I might just increase the opacity a bit here so I can get more to erase at the time. And then you can see kind of here on the edges, my brush was a little big. So now I could just go back with a smaller brush and I can paint the texture back in right along the, the face. So I want that part to still have the texture. Maybe right here along the arm. And then I think probably down here on the legs, it's a little much on the texture, so I'll go ahead and erase some of that too. Now in this case, the texture file that I used had um, some green in it, some algae or something growing on the, the uh, stone that I was taking a picture of. So I might find that that color is going to distract me. So what I can do is while I'm still on the, la the layer that has the texture, 
I can go ahead and go up to image adjustments make sure you click on the picture and desaturate and that's going to take that green out but the texture will still be there so you can kind of see the difference if I turn it back on turn it off it doesn't impact the color of my picture quite so much I'm just going to go ahead and erase a little bit more off her legs and there you have it there it is without the texture and there it is with the texture and a lot of the time what you can do is add multiple texture layers and um, really play with it and really increase the texture on your picture. And that's all there is to it. And I hope that helped you out.